In eBnet, we bring together microbiology and engineering to create smarter, scalable systems for environmental biotechnology applications. For over a century, activated sludge has been the dominant technology worldwide for wastewater treatment. The process uses naturally occurring microorganisms living in flocks suspended in the wastewater to break down organic matter and prevent pollution. Although highly effective, it comes with significant downsides. The loose, lightweight microbial flocks settle slowly, requiring large settling tanks and a substantial physical footprint. These systems also consume considerable energy and need separate tanks for aerobic, anoxic and anaerobic processes, as well as chemical additives for nutrient removal. The result is high operational complexity and rising costs, challenges amplified as urban areas expand, leaving little room to build new treatment plants or upgrade existing ones. Aerobic granular sludge offers a leap forward in wastewater treatment. Unlike the fluffy structure of conventional AS flocks, aerobic granules are compact and dense, meaning they settle up to three times faster, reducing settling tank requirements. As a result, system footprint can be reduced by up to 75%, energy usage by 20 to 50%, and chemical consumption by up to 100%. Another special feature of the aerobic granules is their layered structure. Each granule contains zones that support different microbial communities. This creates the opportunity for multiple metabolic processes in a single granule, like simultaneous nitrification and denitrification for ammonia removal. Simple engineering interventions play a vital role in creating and maintaining these granules. For example, applying hydraulic selection can stimulate the microbes to form granules allowing for the slow settling flocks to be washed out at a short settling time. While these systems are already being built in new treatment plants, we're also finding ways to make the concept work in existing infrastructure. One option involves using hydrocyclones for selection. So the plant runs with a mix of aerobic granules and flocks, an approach known as process intensification. Other research aims to use aerobic granules to support the circular economy. For example, by creating the right conditions, we can encourage precipitation of phosphate inside the granules, which can then be recovered as a fertilizer. Whilst the biopolymers that are secreted by the microbes to make the granules stick together could form the basis for sustainable plastics. With its smaller footprint, lower energy demand, and resource recovery potential, aerobic granular sludge marks a significant advancement in sustainable water management showing how insights into the interactions between microbes and their engineered surroundings can lead to more sustainable treatment processes, protecting the environment and helping to transform wastewater into a resource.